Good morning, happy Monday. We are back to the camera. I found a YouTube video on how to clean the LEDs. I think it worked for the most part, so we're gonna see how this goes. Um, I did kind of break like the lens, like the covers that close and protect the lens. Those like all fell off and I could not figure out how to get those back on. So I'm just gonna have to be careful and actually use my case and at some point just get a new camera. But anyways, I think this will be easier for me using the camera because it's easier to upload and edit and all that stuff. So anyways, uh, happy Monday. It is November 8th. All right, it's November 8th. Um, we, it should be a pretty normal week. Last week we had a lot of interruptions, like the early out, we had conferences, the day after Halloween, just the kids being exhausted. Obviously this time we have daylight savings, so we'll hopefully that extra hour doesn't throw any of my students off too much. Um, but we do have to take our star test this week, the star math and the reading. We have a two week window and I didn't do it last week so it's so busy, so we will have to get both of those in this week. And I believe I'm taking a personal day on Friday, so it'll be a four day week for me, which will be nice and well needed. But um, a couple of things I'm excited for this week are our read aloud. There are the humorous texts and they are all so good and so funny. And we are going to perform my students who did that play, The Tortoise and the Hare, last week. They are going to perform it for our first grade buddies and for our kindergarten class this morning. And then we'll be wrapped up with that and move on to something new. So I will check in with you at the end of the day and let you know how it goes and what we do. But anyways, see you in a little bit. All right, it's Monday after school. Uh, my kids were so chatty and hyper today. Maybe that extra hour of sleep really just re-energized re them, I guess, but I definitely did not have their amount of energy, so I had to get a coffee at lunch to help me make it through the day, but we did it. All right, today, like I said, our reading lessons are about plot, so we talked about identifying problems and solution and stories. Um, so we did that with a few of our old books for our mini lessons, like Enemy Pie, what was a problem in the book, how did it get solved? And then today I read Those Darn Squirrels, so I had them identify one problem, because there could have been multiple problems in the story and how it was solved, and they did that in the reading notebook. Um, and then we are really gonna be working a lot on fluency. I've been doing a lot of listening to podcasts on the science of reading, and I just read um, Know Better, Do Better, and just kind of realizing that in third grade that fluency is a huge part of getting them caught up if they're behind and it's just important for all of my kids. So I got this, I'll show it to you, it's from Tim Rzinski who is a big science of reading guy um, and his fluency resource. So he has 20 lessons. I just downloaded the first sample lesson and I really like it so far. We've only done one day of it. Um, but if I like it this week then I'm going to buy the um, book with the other 19 lessons. So I'll link this so you can find the free sample lesson if you want to try it. But this is what it is. This is the first day of the first lesson so and it, it explains how you should use it when you download the sample. But these are the phrases that we I read to them first and then they were following along as I was reading them. Then we read them together then I had them read them on their own. And then the next part's reading the story, and these phrases are in the story. And again, a lot of it's, I read it to them first while they listened, then we did choral reading, I've had them do partner reading, and they'll be working on the same passage um, all week. So on Friday, I'm going to have them record themselves reading it on Seesaw. But like tomorrow, there are another part that goes with it, so let me find that. So tomorrow is going to be a lot of like the comprehension part, so they're going to use the phrases that were in there and think which one would make the most sense to complete the sentence. And then there are story questions about the passage. And this is just what I have them doing for problem and solution in their reader's notebook for our reader loads. So today they did for those darn squirrels. Um, so that was pretty simple, but just wanted them to practice writing down and coming up with a problem and a solution. Our first grade buddies and then that kindergarten class came and watched us do the tortoise and the hare. Um, they did a good job with it and then uh, it was kind of fun because a lot of them had siblings in that kindergarten class as well and then my one student's the teacher's his mom so they just got to perform for them. They were kind of shy and quieter than they had been but that's alright they still got to do it for an audience which was you know kind of the point of practicing it. Um, so we'll have to move on and work on something else during our reading intervention time but I'll figure that out tomorrow morning. And then let's see, for math this week we decided, we normally would go into multiplication and division since we finished addition and subtraction last week, but we decided to do time and money this week, um, just because a lot of kids struggle reading an analog clock, so we started that today. And they actually did a pretty good job, just really having to practice, like some of them just were getting um, a little bit mixed up on the minutes. They were pretty good at identifying the hours, so that's good at least. Um, so we'll keep working, working on that, and then we're really getting close to finishing the Book of Holes. They're getting uh, 
I don't know, into it. Like they want, kept wanting me to, me to read longer today, which again, I love, but we also have other stuff to get done. So we will finish that this week for sure. And lastly, for social studies, we're doing geography, practicing for mystery Skype. So we did some more of that practice. I picked a state, they practice answering yes or no, asking me yes or no questions to figure out which state I was. And tomorrow, if we do it, I'll have them start going into two separate groups and asking each other. But we have to do our star reading test tomorrow, so I'm not sure if we'll quite have time. But that was our day in third grade, and we'll see what we accomplish tomorrow when we mix in that star reading test. So see you in the morning, and bye. Hey, hi, hello, happy Tuesday. It's afternoon, and I forgot to check in this morning, but wasn't a whole lot to report anyways because our day was pretty relaxed. Like I had said yesterday, we had to do the star reading today and we'll do the star math tomorrow. So that took up a big chunk of our morning. Um, and then this afternoon, it was super nice out. It was like 50 and sunny. And in Minnesota, it's supposed to rain. Well, at least where I live, rain tomorrow and then get one to three inches of snow Friday and Thursday and Friday. So we were like, all right, this is probably our last nice day until spring. So all the third grade teachers, we are the last people to have recess on our playground. So we decided to keep them out for a longer recess to enjoy the weather because it was just gorgeous out. So we did that and enjoyed the weather since it's gonna be cold and freezing here soon. We have 50 pages left in holes. They really wanted me to keep reading today, but we had longer recess. So I did write a few chapters, but I was like, we gotta get into our math as well. So we didn't quite have time to read as long as we normally would. Um, and then for math, we just kept working on time. I just looked up, there's a, if you type in like analog clock simulator, you can just click it and it'll spin the clock and give it a random time. So I had the kids practice identifying the time. Cause again, our math time was a little bit shorter because of us staying outside, but whatever, we enjoyed the weather. I don't care. Um, and then we also did a trust no one with Mr. Whiting, Mark, my coworker next door. They came over and we did a math trust no one on a given kit. And that was our day. So again, pretty relaxed. We had to do our star math test tomorrow. So that'll take up another chunk of our day, but what do you do? We gotta do it, so. One thing I'm really excited for is I really don't have a whole lot of whiteboard space and like this part of the wall goes in. So like if kids are over here, like it's hard to see that. So I got this whiteboard that just came and it's on wheels and it's like height adjustable. I was gonna put it together tonight, but I'm kind of a little too lazy, but I'm excited to put it together hopefully tomorrow and I'll let you guys know how it is. But that's it for today. See you in the morning, bye. Happy Wednesday, it is after school today. Uh, Am I the only one who's struggling with daylight savings and adjusting to this? I just feel like I go home, it gets dark so early, so I like am lazy, and then when it's actually time to go to bed, I've already been lazy, so then I'm not tired and I can't fall asleep, and it's been a struggle. And then today it was supposed to rain, and it ended up not, still isn't, it's gonna start tonight at some point, but it was just kind of dark and cloudy all day, so it just was like that gloomy, kind of somber mood, so it was a just kind of a tiring day but at least tomorrow's my friday tomorrow is veterans day we do have school and it's gonna be kind of a wonky day but i'll talk about that next um today we had to do our star math test and again i just was really really pleased with how hard they worked and then looking and comparing their score from the beginning of the year they all have just done a really good job and tried really hard so that was great it's um you always love when they take their time and you see that growth so nothing more you can ask for than that that took up a good chunk of our morning um because it just you know, takes time. So um, we did our read aloud for the day. Today, our, the humorous text, we read The Great Fuzz Frenzy, which is one of my favorites of the week. We, oh, we played a, we do our word of the day every morning during our morning, um, part of our morning routine. And I try to like, once we get enough words to start going back and really reviewing them, and I try to use them and point them out in books whenever I see them. Uh, but I like to like, come back once we have enough to like play like Hot Seat, which is a vocab game, and like now like Quizlet, I introduced to them. We hadn't done Quizlet live at all. So we played that one and they hadn't, we've done Blook It, we've done Gimkit, we've done Kahoot, um, but we hadn't done Quizlet live and they really enjoyed it. And we did it with those words that we've had so far. So the first round they struggled like a little bit just because some of them they didn't quite remember if we haven't used it or seen it very often, like Prevail. Um, but then as, after we did a few rounds, they were getting really quick with them. So it was a good way to review that. So they had fun with Quizlet Live. Um, for math, we did like 
kept working with time today they were making the time on the analog clock i like doing both like having them tell the time and then also having to like put the hands on there so i had the little clocks and i would tell them a time and they made it and like for example like 11 11 a lot of them were putting the minutes to the 11 because that number they saw it instead of doing like you know one after the two so i think it's just a good way for them to like manipulate it and really understand that the numbers are for the hours and then you got to think about for how many minutes to for where to place your minute hand. So um, that was a good thing to work on. We'll finish up time. I can't decide if we're gonna do a laps time right now or if we'll kind of just practice reading them right now, move on to money, and maybe come back to laps time later. I can't decide. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. But if we're doing it tomorrow, I might as well just keep working on time all week. So, all right, just made up my mind. Um, and then let's see what else do we do today. Oh, we're almost done with holes. We we'll, should finish it up tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then on Monday, because I'll be getting on Friday, and I don't want the sub to finish it for me. So, otherwise, it'll be good not having to do a star test tomorrow, so we can get like our actual lessons in and not take up a huge chunk of that time in the morning. And tomorrow, though. Veterans Day and then the fifth graders have like a little field trip over to the middle school so we're switching preps with them. So we normally have our prep first thing in the morning at 845 so we have our kids from 815 to 845. They go to music and gym then they come back and we have them until 1220 when they go to lunch. Well tomorrow their prep, fifth grade's prep is at the end of the day. So we're gonna get our kids at 815. If it's raining and snowing like it's supposed to be we'll probably have them from 750 because they'll have morning indoor recess and we will have them until 1220. We have a huge long chunk in the morning but I think it'll be good because there's always a lot to get done and especially with Veterans Day we'll probably you know talk about that and do a little art project so I think it'll be a good day to have that and then our afternoon's gonna fly by so it'll be fine but it'll throw things off. Um, oh last thing I got this I'm gonna make a whole video just showing it so I'm gonna flip around and show you guys a very quickly a little sneak peek. So my whiteboard space up here just kind of stinks. Um, this wall makes it so anybody from this side of the carpet can't see it. It's small, just kind of awkward. So I just got this. It's on wheels, which we love. It has the tray. It has anchor chart holder things there so I can put um, chart paper on there. And then it also rotates and is, oops, two-sided so I can flip it around. So I'm super excited about this. It's not overly big where it's gonna take up a ton of space. It's on wheels so I can move it around. I'm, I'm pumped. Like I said, I'll have a full video talking about where I got that process, all that good stuff. But it's cool showing more features. But I just wanna give you guys a little sneak peek of it. So anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow for my Friday. So peace out. Hey, happy Thursday, my Friday. It was a really weird day with that schedule change. It just really threw us off. Plus it was raining all day, it's supposed to turn to snow. I feel like the kids can feel like that change in weather coming because they were just really hyper right away first thing this morning. And normally that's fine because we get it out of our system, they go to music and gym, come back and have gotten to run around. We didn't have that today. And then normally we can go outside for morning recess and we couldn't because it was raining. So it was, I mean, they, they were, it was still fine. It just was like, just felt weird. Um, it was Veterans Day, so we did do our artwork, which I'll insert a clip here for the ones that finished and are hanging up. It looks pretty cool in the, out in the hallway, I think. Um, we listened to a book about Veterans Day. We finished the book Holes. We read another book and practiced for plot, finding the high point and plotting the events in a story. So that was what we did for reading. That's someone's coming. <laughs> um, and then, for math, we started money today, so just identifying coins and counting a group of coins and identifying its value, and that was pretty much it. So I just got my sub plans finished, got everything laid out, and I'm ready for a long weekend. So everything laid out, I put the whole entire day into one slideshow. It's kind of nice because if I need to add anything to, I can make changes and it'll edit it onto here, but like literally like it's... 48 slides, like the math, everything's just in there. And then I have any tabs open else for things she might need. Sticky notes, picture roster so she can see their faces, extra stuff, and all the copies that she'll need. So we're set. Kind of cutting it short today, but I want to get out of here and enjoy the long weekend. So I will see you guys all next week. Take care. Bye.